setting up a six point uh, perspective system is it's just a pain. It's complicated. It just is. I'm going to show you how to do it, but also I'm going to put a handful of examples at the end of the video that you could just screen capture and trace if you wanted uh, to do some six point drawing without going through all this rigmarole to get it set up. Um, but I do want to show you how. Okay, I've got my piece of paper over a cardboard backing board. So, and this is still in a uh, sketchbook, but if I don't put something in between here, the point of my compass is gonna poke holes in 10 sheets of paper and ruin them. And I don't want that to happen. So I've got that piece of cardboard here. I'm gonna start with my, oh, tools. Got a compass. Um, this compass is cooler than the, the your grade school compass in that it just super fast gets really big and it's got this adapter here so I can put colored pencils or pens or paint brushes or markers or whatever I want in here and draw a circle in more than just lead. Uh, this is an Alvin beam compass. Any compass works, this one's just fun. I need a straight edge and I need to be able to draw 90 degrees off uh, so I'll show you how to do that without a triangle, but having a triangle to get your 90 degrees is faster and easier. All right, so I need to start with, let's move this up a little bit, the center of the circle. Let's put it a little higher than that. And that is our center of vision. And that's the direction that we are looking as we draw this. And around, whoops, sorry about that. Around our center of vision, we are going to draw a circle. And that circle represents a 180 degree cone of vision. That means we can see 90 degrees in every direction inside this circle. So if we're looking straight ahead, right here is straight up, right here is straight down, here's straight to our left, and here's straight to our right. So that's us looking. And if we put our first vanishing point here in the middle, we'd have five point perspective again. Um, if we made the world that we're drawing a uh, correspond to the direction we're looking. But that's not what we're doing. We're going to put our first vanishing point, instead of here as the center of vision, we're going to move it to yeah, about, about right here. Vanishing point one. And I've done this in my blue pencil um, to help color code things to keep them simple later on. So, the first thing I'm going to do or let's, let's talk about why I'm going to do things first. I want to find the horizon that's 90 degrees off from this vanishing point. Just like if we were doing three-point perspective and we had the up vanishing point, the other two vanishing points would be on the horizon that's 90 degrees away from that up vanishing point. Okay, so to find that horizon... We are going to run a line through the center of vision and our vanishing point. And then we need to find the line that's perpendicular to this line and passes through that center of vision again. Uh, we could use our uh, triangle but I did say I was going to show you how to do it without a triangle. So here it is. We need to set our compass bigger than the radius of our circle, okay? And we put our foot down here where the circle crosses the line and we make an arc. And same over here. Now we put our foot 
on this side, the other place where the circle crosses the line, and we make an arc. And we make an arc. Now, where those arcs cross, if we connect those, we get a line that is perpendicular to this line and passes through the center of vision, which is what we're looking for. But what we're really looking for is just this point where that line crosses the circle and this point where that line crosses the circle. We need one more piece of information. We need to know where 90 degrees away from vanishing point one is. And in this drawing, 90 degrees is 83 centimeters when it's along the straight lines of the center, which we are. So we're going to go 83 centimeters and mark that there, okay? So we're looking for an arc that passes through that point, that point, and this point, which is 90 visual degrees off of vanishing point one. And this point is pretty close to the edge. So the center of our circle is probably going to be pretty close to the center. And I'm going to start right about here. Put my fixed point on the line, my drawing point on this dot. And does it cross my point? Ooh, that was a pretty close guess, actually. Okay. So we want to be even closer to the edge. So I'm going to move the foot up a little further. Make sure it crosses there. Does it cross here? Ooh, I moved that a little too far. So back it up. Crosses here. Crosses there. Nice. Okay. So I draw that arc. And I make a point of where the foot of my compass was when I drew it. We will need that later. That is important. Let's erase our little tries. Okay. So now we have an arc that passes through this bisecting line where it crosses our cone of vision circle and um, passes through that spot that's 90 degrees away from our vanishing point. Boom. So we've got one vanishing point and the horizon line that the other two vanishing points are going to sit on. So where do those go? Well, we, we get to pick, right? Um, so let's say our second vanishing point, let's do that in blue, is here. Here. Oh, sorry, I did vanishing point one in blue. Let's do vanishing point two in orange. So now we need to repeat our, our system. We need a straight line that goes through the vanishing point and through the center of vision. And we need a line that's perpendicular to that that passes through the center of vision. And this time I'm just going to use my triangle. Because we want to know where that perpendicular line crosses the circle. There it is on that side. There it is on that side. Okay. So the third thing we need to make our arc is 90 degrees away from that. All right. So... 90 degrees is that 83 millimeters. Slide this down and draw it there. Okay, so we need the arc that passes through these three points. And um, it's pretty close to the center. So it's pretty close to straight. That means the, uh, the center of our, the fixed foot of our compass is going to be pretty far away. And it's going to be on this line in between vanishing point two and the center of vision that runs between there. Okay, so I'm going to put the point on my compass zoop, on the line out there. The foot of the compass on this spot where it crosses the circle. And see, does it hit that line? Nope, it's a little too close. So I need to move it, the point closer in. Move the point closer in, still on the line, set my drawing point so it hits that spot, and 
not far enough, keep coming in. Move my center closer. Drawing point is there. Oop. Yeah, that looks good. So there's our second horizon line. And it passes through that 90 degree off point and this point where the bisecting line crosses the center of vision. And it doesn't quite go through vanishing point one, but it comes close, right? And there's gonna be a little slop, things aren't gonna be perfect, that's all right. Cool, so now we've got vanishing point one, and vanishing point two, and where's vanishing point three? Well, that's easy, it's where these two horizons cross. So now we just need to draw this last horizon that is, ooh, important thing I almost forgot. This horizon here, we need to mark where it, where the foot of the compass is, was when it drew that. We need that information. Here's the position to draw this horizon. Here's the position to draw this horizon. We need that information for later. Okay. All right, so we're back to our same pattern. We need a straight line that passes through the vanishing point and the center of vision. And we need the line perpendicular to that line that passes through the center of vision. Where does that cross our big circle, our cone of vision? It crosses there. And it crosses here. We need, <laughs> I'm running into things with my long ruler here. Okay, so to help with that, our 90 degrees is 83 millimeters or so. So from here to 83, boom about there. So now I need the arc that passes through these three points. The center of the arc is going to be on this line and it's going to be pretty far out because this is pretty close to the, the center of vision. If it was close to the outside edge, the center would be really close. But let's put it out here and test it out. So Drawing in touches there, and whoa, look at that, guys. How's that for a good guess? Boom. All right. So our drawing foot was right here. We need that mark. Okay, so we've got our three horizons, the one that connects vanishing point one and two, the one that connects two and three, and the one that connects three and four. Excellent. And like I said, there's a little slop. So I'm gonna move vanishing point one here to actually be on that intersection like it should be. Um, some of it is just human error. You know, I didn't quite get the 90 degrees right and that sort of thing, but some of it is just the system isn't 100% perfect, right? This is an approximation of reality, it isn't exact. Okay, so we've got our three vanishing points. What else do we need? Uh, we need the lines that the foot of our compass goes on to draw arcs through those vanishing points. And those lines are on those points that we marked. Because, let's see, this point here 
drew this horizon. And this horizon you can draw from vanishing point three or vanishing point two. It does both. This point draws stuff that's vanishing point two and vanishing point one. It's both. So the line that connects those two points And this has gotten busy because our vanishing point is almost right on top of it. All right. I've made it orange because it corresponds with that vanishing point that's furthest away from it. And if I put the foot of my compass anywhere on this orange line and the drawing point of my compass on our orange vanishing point, we draw an arc that radiates from that vanishing point. If I put the foot over here on this line and the drawing point on that vanishing point, I get an arc that radiates properly from that line. Um, and in case we're curious, this is six point perspective. We only need to draw the three, but the one that corresponds with this, look, boom. It's going to be down here. All right. So our other two lines connecting those points that drew our horizon circles. And I'm going to do this one in red to correspond with that red vanishing point three. And this one in blue to correspond with that blue vanishing point one. And I am now done. I have set up my six point perspective space. I have the uh, lines that I'm going to put the foot of my compass on to draw my arcs. And I have the vanishing points where my arcs will start from. And so that's a complicated system, but now we've got this base and we can use it all sorts of different ways. We can use it once where this represents up and this north and this south. And we can use the same system and say this is down and this is east and this is north. And we can use it all sorts of different ways. And I'm going to put some variations up at the end uh, so you can just trace this rather than having to do it yourself. But this is our basis for our six-point perspective space.